of St. Albans VBC, and this week we learned about how to love our community. Now, we gave you a few ways that we can reach out into our community with God's love. And we want you to continue with that. Um, you don't have to just do that this week. There's all kinds of ways that your family can reach out into your community. Now, we're going to hear our memory verse again, and then we're going to worship with some fun music, and then we're gonna do a pretty cool craft. So I hope you stick around. All right, here's our memory verse. James 2, 15 through 17. Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead.
craft today, we're going to be making something that I think is pretty cool. And that is a sun catcher wind chime. Now, it actually won't make any chime sound, but we're going to hang it like you would a wind chime. It's gonna have little sun catchers in there. So these are the things that you will need. First, we're going to need something to hang it from. So you're gonna need a pretty substantial size stick. Um, or whatever kind of thing that you want to hang it on. I have this big stick like this. Just got it from my parking lot. <laughs> um, you're going to need some contact paper. This is available usually in the kitchen organization um, section of the store. This is clear. You want the clear contact paper. And next I have some mason jar lids. Um, you may have some of these just lying around the house, but we're really just going to be using the ring part. Then you're going to need something to hang the uh, sun catchers from. So I have some string or twine, whatever you want to use. Um, and then you're actually going to need some things from outside. Look at all that. I got some leaves and some flowers. Um, and anything that you want. So for this project, you'll need like a few craft materials such as scissors, um, you'll need a marker, and I have some painter's tape. The first thing is that we need to cut a piece of our contact paper. Um, now, you may wanna choose how many sun catchers you want. For this, I'm thinking, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think I'll do six. So roll this out. And imagine how much space you will need for however many sun catchers you have. And you'll need two sheets of this because you one is gonna go on the bottom and then another sheet will go over the top. So cut a sheet of the same size or about the same size. You want to trace your ringlets so you know the size that you need. Now, keep in mind, whenever you cut these out, it's going to go on the inside. So if you trace the outside, then the circle may be a little bit bigger than what you need. But we're just gonna go ahead and trace, and I'll keep that in mind. Now, you want to trace on this side of the contact paper. Now this is, this is before I've taken the sticky sheet off yet. You don't want to trace on this side because this is going to go in the trash. You want to trace on this side up. Now, you want to remove I'm gonna get some tape ready. Now I'm going to take this off. for the fun part. Now we can add all our leaves. You can add these however you want because they're gonna stick to the paper.
had that second piece of contact paper and I just laid it right on top. I thought I was recording and I wasn't, but you lay that other piece of contact pe paper right on top and you press down all around so that this sticks. There you have it. Smush those flowers down. Even if you want to get something like a rolling pin to flatten it. And now we're going to cut. the same length. These are all about 24 inches long. It can be a little bit more or a little bit less depending on what you want it to look like and the size of your stick. Um, so after you cut these out, the next thing you want to tie your string onto the inside of your um, jar lid. Now, you take all these, and before you put them in, you'll see how big they need to be. If you need to trim around the edges, you can do that. But these, um, mine, just kind of go in there. If they're too small and you need some tape, you can just tape them. But mine kind of stick by themselves. See? All right, so now that we have all of our little sun catchers connected to the jar lids, now we can put them onto our stick. So I used a little bit of hot glue. You don't have to do that because mostly they just stuck in there, but I wanted it to be pretty secure. Um, so I just did a little dab there. And you can also hang this onto your stick and just tie a knot wherever you want it to be spaced out. Ah, look at it. I'm excited already. All right, so I have them all connected. It looks just like this. I love it. And if you want to hang this somewhere, you can hang it outside, but if you want to hang this like right above a window or somewhere around where the sun will catch it, um, then the sun will come in and it'll really shine on those flowers. Now you can hang it from the actual branch itself, like maybe put some nails up, or you can cut another piece to kind of uh, hang it from, hang it like that. But here is your sun catcher wind chime. We'll see you next Monday at 10 o'clock for our very last week of Vacation Bible Camp. We'll see you then. Bye!